Hey guys, welcome to year 10. Um, you are in an absolutely fantastic position and this is really, really, really good. The fact that you're here, the fact that you're watching like revision videos in year 10 is fantastic. And um, whether you've been doing your GCSEs for a year, whether you're just starting your GCSEs, just by doing this, you're putting yourself in a really, really great position for year 11. Um, because I know from past experience, loads and loads of people I'm going to start revising until Easter. And I would like you to start revising now. Yes, I would like you to start revising now. Um, mainly because there's so, so much to revise. And it's better to do like five, ten minutes a day spread out over two years as opposed to trying to do it all in the week, the month, the day before your exam at the end of year 11. So... Um, I'm going to point you towards my revision tips and my study skills playlist. In there there's going to be loads and loads of bits of advice about how to revise. So flashcards, mind maps, past papers, study groups, um, things that you might not have done before, things that you might not have tried before. Um, and it's going to take you a while of trying a few things to work out which way you revise best. But once you find it, it is really, really going to revolutionise your life, I promise. The one thing you are not allowed to do is to sit there highlighting your notes because that is like a waste of time and highlight a pen. Okay, just please don't do it. So please pop over to that playlist and have a look through and try and find the way that is going to suit you best for revising. The other thing I'd like you to find in that playlist is making yourself a timetable. Um, now, I know the school's giving you a timetable for, the, uh, for like your school day, um, but this is a timetable for fitting your home homework, the timetable for fitting in your revision. It is really important that you have um, structure in this, that you work out which subjects you need to spend a bit more time on, which subjects you need to spend a bit less time on, which subjects are the important ones, and which subjects are kind of like the not very important ones. Don't tell your teachers I said that some subjects weren't very important okay because they're all very important but they're not okay um I'm waffling now what am I saying yeah so planning organization pop over to that playlist find a few things to um try maybe try like one revision technique a month we have time the fantastic thing about you being here this early is that we have loads and loads of time so if you try something it doesn't work that's okay because we've still got loads of time however if it gets april in year 11 we try something it doesn't work oh it's a little bit of a nightmare because they don't have a lot of time um the thing that i'd really really like you to start doing now is maybe working ahead a bit but working on your recall now i know for like science and for maths especially for physics there is so much you have to just recall we're talking units we're talking equations um if you pop out to the website you can get your free science revision guide and there's a formula sheet in there unfortunately it's five pages long and you have to remember all of this i know i'm I'm really, really sorry. Um, but you have to remember all of these. So even if you haven't come across it in class yet, um, it is really worth um, making flashcards or getting the ones that I've already made for you from my website. Um, getting the flashcards and starting to learn the equations of the units and the ions for chemistry and the equations for maths and your words for French and your dates for history and all these other things, starting to learn them a bit early because it's the sort of thing that you don't need your teacher's help for because well it's just a flashcard um you, you don't have to your teacher doesn't have to tell you that the unit for power is a what you don't have to really at this point understand it but if you can remember it by the time your teacher comes around to teaching it to you you're going to find things so 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 much easier um so the message for this video is Learn which revision techniques are going to work best for you and then start to do, start to work ahead with a little bit of recall. Um, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try and do videos like every single day covering um, like some really, really hard, nasty questions for maths that I'm going to start going through loads and loads of maths things in detail. Um, I'm going to finish off doing the, the sciences um, and I'm going to write in like free revision guides for science and maths over on my website. Um, I'm also going to help you with loads of revision techniques. We can start thinking about picking our A-levels, but you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, but mainly, congratulations for being so 
prepared, so forward thinking um, that you're starting this early. Well done guys.